Welcome back to more Ghost Parade, everybody. So in the last episode, we were off in the uh, we left off in the town, I should say. Uh, but for this episode, I'm actually going to start here by going to the take the warp to beg. What's what's his name again? Beg Begunga Jing. Oh my god, I'm totally butchering that. I totally forgot, but whatever. Take the warp to that area, and you'll be in this place. Uh, because in order to progress this story, we actually have to go down. Um, shit. Just be very careful. I mean, there's a lot of great opportunities here to get some uh, some experience, you know, from killing these enemies. So I do want to do that, but I have to keep going down. I just have to figure out how to get down there. I guess it's through here. Luckily, I have the parachute now, so I don't have to worry about, you know, dying. Just because if you... Wait. That's not where I want to go. That actually leads to another area, which we haven't been to, I, I don't believe. Let's not take a look. Yeah, dude, that goes to the right. It says boss, but don't go there. Uh, no, it's not because you're underpowered for that boss and going to get annihilated. No, it's not that. It's, uh, it has to do with something that I haven't actually mentioned. Um, yeah, wait a minute. Wait, how do I... Hold on, no, no, actually, this is the correct way, I believe. Wait, I'm so confused. Let me go this way. But, okay, there is a way to get over there. Like, believe me, there totally is a way to get to that place that you just saw on the map toward the right side. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not lying one bit. <laughs> but, okay, but I was getting to the part of, like, why? Like, why don't you go there? Because, you know, can't you explore in this game? You can. But, and this is the main reason why this game is not actually a freaking Metroidvania... Um, the game basically punishes you for exploring because there's a lot of the time when you can't actually do anything Like you can make it all the way to the boss over there the boss area, but the boss is not actually gonna be there And I know it's like what yeah, so like you waste all that time You know just walking your ass all the way over there and then for what nothing because nothing is there like that's a little ridiculous, you know um, And that, ha that actually happens very consistently um, in this game, like throughout throughout the whole game, which is kind of crazy. Um, so don't go out of your way to explore. The game will tell you when you need to backtrack because of a certain story thing, you know? Um, but if it doesn't tell you, don't even try it. Oh god. Get over here. Stupid spiders. You too. And you. Does that thing hit them? No, it doesn't. I wasn't actually sure. There's a lot of spiders here. I'll kill them for some experience. I mean, hell yeah, right? Let's do it. Okay, I think we'll just, uh... Actually, I can't keep going down. I mean, I gotta keep going down. I think it's this way. Okay. Okay. I'm not really sure how much lower I need to be. No! I didn't mean to fall! Damn it! Damn it, damn it! Okay, g give me- God dang it, I did not mean to do that. Shoot. Give me a sec. Okay. We actually did it this time. My god. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> how I let that happen. Okay, so now we are going back to where we actually wanted to go. Originally, it's it is definitely a long way back though. Like it's a very long way back, but I believe that's actually the fastest way to you know get to where we want to go to. I'm pretty sure. Let me just take a look at the map again to see if I am going the right way. I believe I am. Yeah, I'm here now. So all I have to do now is go to the very bottom. Um, I believe I can just go like this. Can I not? Wait. Oh no, it totally is. It's working. Okay, can I go down there? I cannot. Here's another one, I'll take this. There we go, we finally made it. Oh no, they're trying to cut down our tree too. Gotta stop him. Stop! Okay, so this is where the game gets completely ridiculously stupid. <laughs> and you'll see why. <laughs> so... You know, because keep in mind, the main goal is still to try to find a way back home, right? If you remember that, if you remember that, then you'd be like, oh yeah, of course it's that, you know? However, now I'm over here fighting human beings that have axes. 
I'm a little girl holding a freaking lantern. Quick, let's follow him. Okay. I'm like, I'm a little girl holding a lantern, beating the shit out of grown men with axes. What? This game doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense whatsoever, but you know what? We're not, we're not here to play this game for it to make sense. We're here to just enjoy this gameplay, you know? Keep in mind that my goal is still to find a way back home, yet I'm over here sidetrack killing human beings in this forest because we are pro-environmentalism. Like, I don't even know. I, I have no idea, but obviously the story that makes absolutely no sense in this game <laughs> is completely bizarre and out of left field, but yeah. Alright, so now we're in the mountain passage. A new area. It's gonna slide all the way through. Now these guys, funny enough, even though they're, you know, some of the newer enemies, are actually probably some of the easier enemies in the game. Okay, the, the shooters maybe not so much. Those guys are actually annoying. But the guys with the axes, they're super easy to deal with. Like, super easy. Um, I have one. What do I use it on? I think I want to upgrade my ghost powers, huh? I mean, that'd be nice. Add one combo attack. I don't really care about potion effects right now, but I'm just going to save it. I'll, I'll decide later once I get some more level ups, you know? Okay, so we're just going all the way to the right. This is such a long pathway. Okay. I think there's going to be a lot of these guys here, we're gonna get a lot of experience from this. Shit! I accidentally turned to the left there. I actually don't know why I did that, but... What do you get? Do you see how easy these things are? Like, all these damn enemies? Like, it's... It's so crazy. Um... Do I need to go... Actually, I believe it's the pathway to the... Over here. Wait, is there something up here? No, I'm going crazy, okay. Never mind. Let's just go. Next area, we're making we're making some solid progress for sure. Okay. So, let me guess. There's going to be more of these guys with axes, these lumberjacks. Wow. I was right. It's crazy that I was right, you know? These things actually give some pretty decent experience, I just realized. Okay, that guy's probably gonna hit me. Oh no, I managed to evade him. Shoot your thing. Okay, so... There's two ways to go here. Um, I'm not actually sure which way is the correct way, if I'm being honest. Oh my god, those guys have a lot of health, the big guys. I'm gonna choose this way. I don't know if this is the correct way or not, because I, I know there's a pathway at the bottom here too, and one of them leads to a different location, which I'm not interested in going right now. So I will open up my map as soon as this loads. Okay. Um, map. Let's see where I am. I went the correct way. Okay, there's a pathway at the bottom that actually leads to the top. Yes, I know that sounds ridiculous. I'm telling you, this doesn't make any sense. If you take the bottom pathway, it will guide you on the map to the very top. And I'm just like, what in the world is happening? You know? Alright, so here's a warp. I'm not going to take it right now, though. As you can see, this says boss, but... We're not actually going to fight the boss yet. Alright. Oh no, we lost him. Where did he go? How can he possibly run so fast? That machine must be helping him to run away, kid. Seems like we'll discover the path to their camp the hard way. They must be traveling this way, but how can we pass through that stone? Wait, look at that hole. It looks like a gate. Oh, well, I remember something like that looks just like that. When I was flying around looking for the highest tree. I saw a guardian statue called the Shiva statue. It has a stone which might fit that hole. Maybe we can go there and use it to open the gate. I remember this gate. It usually has a lock on it, but it looks like the key's missing. Someone must have taken it. Let's go and get it then. Okay. 
So that's what we have to do now. We got a new objective. And if we take a look at the map, um, it says we have to go back to the bug cave to the very, very top over there. Now, the easiest way would be to actually warp to the bug cave um, because that is actually going to be a shortcut. Luckily, they were nice enough to put a warp here. Um, so I definitely appreciate that. So let's just do this and go to Bug Cave. That's going to be the closest way to get to the destination where we want to go to. So I highly recommend that you do that and follow along. Time your air dash. It's funny that it's t telling us that, but like we don't even have a freaking air dash. Okay, so I think I need to go to the left. Now, I'm just gonna run through. I believe I can make it. Pretty sure. Yeah, you can just jump over them. It it's fine. It's all good. Alright. So let me actually show you where I am in this bug cave area. Once I get through another loading screen, of course. Because we love loading screens in this game. Heck yeah. Okay. So. Let me break this thing first. Uh, we're basically... Just so you uh, don't lose your sense of orientation here. We're right there. Um, so we have to go to the top. And the easiest way is going to be through here. Oh, actually, I should say the only way, I believe. We're going to take this pathway. See how we couldn't previously go here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. We couldn't do this before, but now we can because we have the parachute. So now we can go to the top. Um, is there more up there? I'm not actually sure. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there, no, no, there's not. No, there is not. Alright, so we're just going to keep going along this pathway because it will take us to, eventually, our destination where we want to go to. Way up at the very, very top. We are going to be fighting two bosses along the way, just to let you know. One of them is directly guarding the uh, Shiva statue. Oh my god, I could barely see that thing. It was camouflaged. The hell? Stupid beetle, whatever that was. Luckily, they're really simple to kill. I think it actually just takes one hit. Oh my god, it does. Get over here. Dude. Here, line the mushroom so you don't get hit by it, you know. Alright, I mean, that's some easy experience for me. I'll take it. Oh my god, you can barely see these things. They're so well camouflaged. Now, this is actually where it branches off, I believe. Into two directions, and I think that's actually the incorrect place to go. Um, I don't think that's correct. I think there's actually another pathway somewhere. Unless I'm remembering this wrong, but I, I don't... Shit! You know what? Let's just go for it. I might, I might be going crazy, but... See, part of the problem is that, again, the map doesn't actually really help you out that much for knowing, like, your sense of direction. It's like they just put a bunch of circles on the map and, like, this leads to that, this leads to that, but it's not, like, scaled or, or fit to the appropriate direction. It's just whatever, you know? So I'm constantly just like, what the heck is going on? Okay, let's see where I am now. I may have gone the wrong way, but I have to make sure. See, I did go the wrong way. See that? Okay, so that's not correct. That is definitely not what I want to do. Also, where does this lead? Oh my god. Well, we got some free experience at least. It was like a rolly bug thing, whatever that was. Alright, so we have to make... Oh, we gotta, we gotta turn around. We gotta turn around. Sure, whatever. Okay, so... This means we gotta find another direction. However, I'm not actually sure what the direction is. Oh, it's the wall jump, that's right. Remember this thing? 
Now, long jumping is actually incredibly awkward in this game. I'll just tell you right now. Um, every time you wall jump, uh, your character will automatically go to the opposite side. You can't control that. And if you're seeing this already right now, you're like, what the hell is this? Yeah, you have to jump at the very tip or else you will not make it to the next wall, which is so freaking ridiculously bad, but not much you can do about that, you know? Okay, so here's a mushroom. Now, when it's toward the same wall, it's a lot easier because that's the way that wall jump is supposed to be. God dang it. So I'm screwing up, of course. Okay, right up here. We're gonna go like this. Okay, this is the correct way to go. But yeah, wall jumping definitely gets a lot worse uh, because there's certain wall jumping areas that they put a bunch of crap on, like freaking fire coming from the ceiling or whatever, and then you have to like dodge that while also having to worry about the horrible wall jumping mechanics. <laughs> like, oh my god. Okay. Okay, like this is already a little bit of a step up. You have to jump at the very tip, but if you go too far... Yeah, see? Do you see how difficult that is? You don't really have too much control over this. If you jump too high, right there, it just happened again. Barely made that, but now I'm... Oh, I was poisoned. Okay, I just, I just died on the wall because I was poisoned. It's very tricky. It's very rough. It is a huge learning curve to, ma to master the point in which you need to be holding B or pressing B to get the wall just right so you're at the top of every wall, but not too high to the point where you basically die by whatever obstacle, in this case the poison is there. Yeah, so you've got to be very careful. What the hell? Why did you let go? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is freaking ridiculous. Oh, and the worst part about this is that every time you die in BS areas like this, you have to go through a loading screen every single time you die. In harder areas in the game, it becomes incredibly aggravating, let's just say. God dang it. Okay, I did it that time. Please give me at least a freaking lantern. Oh my god. Okay, you're dead. Come on. Where's the other one? I saw the second one. Oh, no, this is, this is just regular beetles. Never mind. No, I don't think there was anything else over here, right? No, I can't get up there. I can't. Hmm. Okay, see what I'm talking about? This doesn't look pretty, huh? Definitely not, but... Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Actually, what's over here? I legitimately don't know. Hmm. I think it's just like a secret, maybe? Actually, there's like nothing. I'm not totally sure why... Okay, well... It's fine, I guess. Okay, so this is the BS part that I was talking about, for sure. So it's like one, two, three. It shoots with three. Hmm. God dang it. Oh my god, man. This is rough. And she's also not. Freaking clinging onto the wall, dude. Cling onto the freaking wall. Use the parachute as. Oh my god, they're really. Oh jeez. Oh, let's use a potion here. This is this is rough. This is a very rough part of the game. Um, basically, anything having to do with wall jump is a very very rough part. Cause see, then you can't align your jump properly. God dang it! This is so awkward. So, and really fast, I have to... Oh my gosh, she keeps slipping. She's not clinging onto the thing. See, you can't do it that fast, that's the thing. If you do it too fast, 
She doesn't cling onto the wall. You need to give yourself enough time. But then there's not... I don't know how to do this, actually. I have no idea. Um... Oh my god. No! Jesus, please give me a freaking save area here. This That was insane. That was... So far, I think that's the hardest part about the game. That is very tricky, but you have to use the parachute in between to actually wait for when... Oh my god, I can't even explain that. Okay, gotta keep going. Um, we have to go this way. I think this part's actually gonna be a little easier. Oh hell yeah, like actually much easier. Is there actually something over there that I don't even know? Okay. Oh great. I can't go over there. I think I have to go this way. Yep, there we go. There's a part right here. There's some grasshopper-like enemies here. Okay. We level up. These things are actually very brutal enemies. I don't even think you can kill those. The um that boulder there is actually an enemy. I suppose I can show you, but then I'm gonna quickly just run away. Maybe I, well, oh no, it actually just does get activated right away. Okay, wasn't sure how that worked. God dang it! Okay. We gotta do this. Jesus. Gotta hurry here because it's not gonna be easy. Okay, I think I made it. I believe I made it. I uh, didn't make that, but that's okay. I don't need to do that. I'm gonna grab this and pull it so we can get up there. Just pull it all the way. All the freaking way. And. Done? Then we can jump. Then we can jump. As I was saying. Then we gotta push this one. Okay, there's some fire stuff there, but that's for something else. I'm not gonna be doing that, that's fine. I can just avoid that part. It's all good. Alright, on to the next section. Alright, let's see what this area has. I think the- is the boss next? I think it's actually the boss, finally. It took a while. Yep, okay, here's a warp. I don't think you ever have to actually examine these things to, like, trigger the warp, but I just do it just in case, you know? It's all good. Alright, here you are. Human, human, and another human. One after another they come. Wait, uh, this is our home. Leave us alone to prepare for your doom. Oh, great. Okay, we're just gonna do some of this here. Wait, why, can't, why, why doesn't it work? Okay, dude, that was such bullshit. I'm not even kidding. Go! Oh, no, 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 no. You're not gonna do that to me. Damn it! That actually doesn't do that much, though. Oh my god. Okay, that actually did a lot. Um, I guess we'll do... Wait, what does this do? I should actually do this. For 30 seconds. It's only for 30 seconds though, but it's definitely not a lot, so. That's a little underwhelming, but I guess that's fine. Oh no. That doesn't actually hit that much though. Dude! No! Shit. Um, I should have. Wait, did I die? I think. I think I actually died. Oh my god. I paused the game in my death animation. <laughs> oh, that's when you know it's bad. That's when you know it's bad. 
it wasn't letting me heal because I was already dead, but it let me pause because I wasn't dead yet. The game was very confused right there. That's actually really hilarious. Okay, we're just gonna skip this. Okay, I'm not sure why these things didn't actually work first, but I'm gonna do this because I have my shield up. Let's see if this actually ends up working. Oh my, oh my god, this might actually work. Shit. Uh, not really. Well, I don't know. We'll use one of these defense things, and we'll also use one potion. But a lot of the time, it's pretty funny when you can just tank this stuff, you know? Jesus. You might have to use one more. And I, I'm gonna actually have to start buying some of these, because... Can you freaking jump? Got you. I have to use two potions for that, plus one defense one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start buying potions. Why don't you just kill me? My home is ruined already. My people have died or have been banished. Got it all wrong. We just want to help. We want to save this force. So do we. That's right. We lost our home too. Those bad humans were to blame, not her. She's our friend. She's lost in this angry forest trying to find her way home too. But she still risked herself to us to help us get home. She's a good human. She even asked me to come to her house. Yay, I got a new daddy. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, we will We will save this forest. Bucking, we need to find a way to the statue of Guardian Shiva. Yes. Okay. We cannot defeat him. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, we're going to open this thing here. Awesome. That was actually a lot of experience there. Alright, let's go up. Um, I'm not actually sure which way I need to go, but I guess I'll go to the right. I think they both eventually lead to the destination that we want to go to. So it's all good. It's all good. All right. Finally one of these. Oh great, more shitty wall jumping mechanics. Look at this, look at this! This is exactly what I'm saying. It's horrible. Jeez, that's not good. That one, that's gonna be my best bet. Yes. That is a lot harder than it looks, I'm just saying. And it's not because, I mean, it, it looks easy, but it's because of the shitty mechanics that make it really hard. And sometimes he just like ends up slipping. I'm not sure why that happens. I haven't fully figured that part out yet, but um, I'm just gonna do this here because this is gonna be a nightmare. That's way too many enemies. Okay. So do I need to go? Is that something? That looked like a secret passageway or something, but it was not. It was not. Um. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm not actually sure which way... Which are for those stupid golems, I'm not even kidding you. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. There we go. Always nice when you find a save point, because then you're like, oh hell yeah. Now if I die, I don't have to go back too much, you know? Okay, so. Here's another one of these. Where am I on the map now? I'm actually very curious about this, because I feel like I've definitely gone Pretty far. Oh, I'm actually really close to that boss over there. I don't think that boss is actually crazy at all. It's just, you just have to play the waiting game for my, for, if, if I remember that correctly. Um, the hell? Wait. Wait, what? Why is there another? Oh, that might just lead to the bottom actually, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I hate how long it takes to access the map in this game. I wish there was a 
really easy way to just, you know, open it up. Oh, you freaking piece of trash. Okay, kill him. Kill you all. Um, there's some, there's some enemies here. Okay. Oh my god, those things explode? I'm actually not sure which way. Okay, I think it's that way. I had to do that. I was in trouble there. Lots of enemies. Okay, another one here. And I think we're actually... Right where the boss is gonna be. Wait, is this an, is this an exit? No, it's not. Okay, one thing I'm gonna do... I haven't actually done this, I don't know why, but... I should have already had some accessories, right? Yeah, you get these by defeating bosses and I just have not equipped them at all. Um, but basically, oh wow. Like, you can equip up to four different ones, so I'll just equip them all, you know, I can't, um, I can't believe I, you know, didn't do that. So, poison immunity. Those were all poison immunity. Attack, ghost power, more attack. Okay, and then HP. I should have done this a long time ago. Also, I'm gonna go to the skill tree. I have two. Um, I guess reducing ghost cooldown time would be nice. Ooh, if only I had another level up, I could actually improve that one. How close am I? I'm not gonna get it, no. Alright, let's go. Wait. Oh my god, I could totally have done that a long time ago. I, I forgot about that! Shoot! I should have explained... Back when I played this game the first time... I was actually aware of that, if you hold A, and I guess just me and my dumbass totally forgot to explain that. If you hold A, you have to actually hold A specifically. Why did you jump that way? Oh my god, I'm gonna get hit right there. But yes, you hold A to throw stones. Now the game never tells you that, so to be fair, most people who play the game will actually never know, but... Wow. <laughs> just wow. Okay, I believe I made it to the end now, pretty sure. And this might actually be a good time to end the video here, because we're going to be fighting, I think, two bosses in the next video. Um, maybe more, actually. I'm not totally sure, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. There might be another save point here, though. Yep, right here. Alright, before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I post multiple gaming videos on a daily basis, so hopefully you enjoy my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.